Hey guys, Lynn here again. The other day I um, was looking for something to forge and found a bit of round. And I thought, decided I need some smaller uh, scrolling pliers, tongs, whatever you want to call them. So I made these little fellas up. I've got bigger ones over here. Where are they? There they are. They're the bigger ones. But I needed something a bit smaller, so I come up with these. Come out alright. Once you've done something once, it's not bad doing it again. These bits are nearly, so I had to chop one off, it was a bit bigger. So, um, I haven't been doing much video because they've been working on the fence out there and there's been too much noise with sanders and stuff and people coming and going. And, Anyway, um, as you know, I've had trouble getting heat in this forward. I put more five bricks in the other day and uh, reduced the width of the chamber. And I started thinking, how about if I go back and try my old Devil Forge, the first forge I got early this year or late last year? Because the little Gamaco just wasn't doing it, wasn't cutting it, wasn't heating it up. Anyway, I tried that, tried this, the uh, old Gamaco, the small, I mean, Devil Forge burner. It seems to be a bigger tube here. And it worked good, and then I thought, oh, I don't like the hose on the Devil Forge stuff, because they, they just slip on, and it just held on there with a um, hose clamp. I don't like then yesterday morning I started thinking, one of the hose from Gamaco will fit on this. And it did, straight onto where the, um, this uh, valve is. And it went straight on, I was so happy. Gas goo on the thread and um, this thing, this burner throws some heat. I don't know if I turned up, I'd nearly get the forge welding heat. I'm really stoked because, um, I can use uh, this hose from Gamco. I, I got this the um, gauge the other week, and so I can use my gauge to see what PSI I'm using. So um, I started mucking around doing this the other day. Um, it was to be a kid. I loved uh, Bowie knives, and I started on. Um, I've never made knives. I just started mucking around on that. Don't know if I'll finish it. Um, yeah, what I really want to do is make some uh, fullers, suede, suede, suede block fuller, you know, the round ones. So, um, I've got this bit of steel. Don't know what that is, that's probably inch by whatever, hang on, I'm just going to get my ruler, I know it's awful when people are zooming around with their cameras, my little, my little drawer outside, here. what is this, this is inch and a half, inch and a half square, so I want it to put some round dies in here. Maybe this all. Don't know yet. I wanted something a bit wider. Uh, yes, I was up at the steel shop and oh, it's out there. And I got a a meter and a half, two meter, 25 mil bar, and I use that for making hardy stems and I'll make it tools for the hardy. So I was thinking of putting two of them together and um, welding them and then trying to put fullers in. I don't have the welded hold. You could try. I had to bring that out to 50 mils there so it would make 
a bit of steel that wide and just making a, another little stem weld on the side and I know. See how it goes. Ah, beautiful day here in Queensland. You wouldn't think it's winter. It's been warm. Anyway, uh, that's just a little update from here, from Lenny and my little Ford. I was trying to make a, a little tomahawk from a railway spike because I've never done this stuff. Didn't know I was going to put a handle on it, so I thought I'd just make a spike and, and put it in a bit of wood. Haven't finished it. Don't know if I will. I've come up with so far. I've never done this sort of stuff. But you got to have a go, don't you? So anyway, that's why I had <laughs> this up in the vice, trying to see how the handle went into this old axe. Uh, John Swartz, the Black Bear Forge, did one, but he um, he did it different to me. I used the head of the spike. He's, what he did, he went to the other end and um, he upset the end. So John, he went to... He went to the other end of the railway spike. Upset the end. And then he then he slid a hole in there and that's where he's gonna put his handle. That that's another option. Anyway guys, um gotta go and have some breakfast. Got up a bit late today, Sunday. And I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, bye for now. Lynn signing off.